Morning, YouTube. It's Bite Miner again. Uh, got a video this morning. I want to do kind of a because I failed in some of my duties. I wanted to do a little bit of a recap on the uh, pipe meetup that I had this weekend. Went to uh, well, it was my first pipe meetup, and uh, found a shop in Omaha that looked pretty interesting, you know. So. Uh, when I originally started setting this whole thing up, it was with Bearded Bristol because I found out that he lives not too far from me, you know. And then in the time since I started talking to him, I found out there's two more guys in this end of Nebraska that I thought, well, just invite all of them, you know, get see if all four of us could make it. As it turns out, only two of us could make it. Uh... But we went to this shop in Omaha. It's called Hearth Cigars and Pipes. Uh, I'll put a link in the description when I get done that just for the shop. They don't have an online sales site or anything, but in case you're curious, because I uh, got so busy yakking and <laughs> talking to the owner of the shop and to Haven Hill Piper is the other guy that came. Jay is his name, but uh, we, you know, between the two of us talking and then talking to the owner of the shop, we stood there for two hours, just talking and uh, looking around at the shop, you know, and and just comparing tobacco and stuff, you know. Never even uh, passed, you know, initially when I first got there because I was the first one there. I thought, man, I need to get my phone out and do a video tour, you know, that kind of stuff. And that's as far as I ever got. So when we go back the next time, I will take a video of the shop because it's, to me, it's a really cool shop. Now, the ones that I live close to, you know, and there's a city ordinance in town where the, the, my normal shops are that prevents places from having a smoking lounge. Even though he's a tobacconist, there are, oh, what are there, two, two, well, three, because there's one that's just cigars. Three, you know, just either pipe and cigar or cigar-only shops in town. That's all they sell. And uh, the city ordinance prevents them from having a smoking lounge. Because that's just the way they roll. There's a cigar lounge downtown that is a bar, you know, type cigar lounge we can smoke in there no problem at all so for me i watch youtube videos i see people all over the place in tobacconists that have smoking lounges and i'm just like wow that looks like it'd be fun you know <laughs> so i get to omaha and uh that's where i found out it was a city ordinance not a state thing because the shop has a smoking lounge they have an upstairs lounge that's mostly, you know, couches, seats, or chairs, TVs, that kind of stuff up there. And then they have a lower level that has a couple of pool tables. And he's in the process of swapping out some of the other furnishings down there. He thinks, uh, he said he was thinking he was going to add another pool table because they're really popular. So, uh, you know, we, we, to me, that made it that much better already even if everything else was the same that was that just that much better because you can actually go in there and smoke I know seems strange but uh, Jay showed up and I had taken him I had taken some tampers you know and I was I, was, I gave one to Jay and he kind of beat me to the punch he did a video on his way home from the meetup and here I am, you know, four or five days later, or whatever, finally doing mine. But uh, he came in and we started talking, you know, and, and both of us, small towns, just, you know, comparing backgrounds and all this stuff. And we started looking at tobaccos and the owner of the shop was working on a Saturday, which... It's a small shop, so, you know, that's probably not too uncommon. But he came over, and, and really, aside from 
going and helping a couple other customers, you know, they come in, they'd go get a cigar or whatever, and he'd ring them up. He stood there the whole time talking to us, and he took us downstairs and showed us around down there, and we came back upstairs, and he, he stood there the whole time talking to us and giving us history lessons on some of the cigar stuff, you know, and, and talking to us about different tobaccos and things that he likes and things that he, he carries that nobody else does and the pipes that he's got. And just, I mean, really, for me, the Anthony, the guy that owns this shop, uh kind of created a super fan with me i mean you, you know you hear that a lot when you talk about the way dagners do their pipes and they send out all the swag and oms when he sells his pipes you know he sends out stickers and all that stuff you know this was kind of the same thing because he stood there and talked to us like he had known us forever no i get that in my shop in my local shop because I, i'm in there all the time so it, it just becomes it feels more normal but this was the first time i'd ever been in that shop he could have looked at me and ignored me you know wouldn't have been unheard of but instead he stood there and just chatted right with us so in the uh, process of going through all the blends and getting through some of his recommendations now he does not carry any bulks I've uh, been on his site. He doesn't do any online sales or anything like that. But uh, I went in there, and he's got tins from Cornell and Deal, which that's the only place in in this area that I've been into that actually carries Cornell and Deal tins, GLP's tins, Savinelli. Uh, had one or two from uh, Silems or Silems, and uh, some Vaughn. Or Valen, whichever way you say it, uh, had three tens of one of the Samuel Galloth varieties, but I know everybody's kind of out of that right now. Uh, but just a you know really nice selection of tens. He had uh, a nice selection of pipes. Had some Savinelli. Had some uh, I, I can't say it's a Danish maker uh, Hilson or I don't remember. But, I mean, just overall cool shop. And then get, getting to meet somebody else, you know, from YTPC that is this close. I mean, it, we're, we're, well, we're about an hour apart. So, but anyway, I ended up picking up a tin of GOP's Halo's Delight. It's, uh, I've only smoked one bowl of it. Didn't. You know, didn't really blow my socks off or anything, but uh, it, it's good. Uh, the other one I picked up is a that Valen blend, English blend number 22. Nothing fancy about the artwork. These are the newer tins. That's uh, German, made in Germany, imported by F and K Cigar. That one, it's an English with a. And you can smell it in the tent. It's in English with the, uh, they said French vanilla and bourbon topping. So it's kind of a crossover English, uh, anglomatic, whatever you want to call it. It's, uh, but it's really good. Uh, to, to let you know, three days is all it took for me to go from having the 110 to, there's another one. There's a couple more and a couple more. Because uh, don't let the uh, aromatic portion of it scare you. It is a very mild English. It's, uh, I would compare it with Anso to Bed from Esoterica. You know, it's pretty mild, real light Latakia. And I honestly get very just very slight hints of the vanilla or the bourbon in the in the smoke but you pick up the vanilla aroma in the room note now i sat here that night and uh i had a bowl of it here and my son was here and he was really complimentary about the room note and normally with an english if it's got latakia in it 
the room note's not all that great. So this one is uh, it is a very sweet kind of vanilla-y room note. I picked up a tin. Jay picked up a tin. So, and, and the, Anthony, the guy that owned the shop, said that that's his his day one of his daily Englishes. I mean, he just he loves this stuff, and I understand why now. Very mild. You could smoke it all day long. I mean, really. So, uh, between Jay and I, we had kind of decided, I think we're going to go back and try to go this next month. We're going to go back up there and try to get together again. Just because, I mean, we stood there for two hours and time just flew by. So, if my recommendation, if you get a chance or you can get to maybe even a pipe show or just a meetup with some people in your area, man, take the adva take advantage of it. Go because it's really kind of a neat experience to actually go someplace and be able to just kick back and have a pipe with, I guess, a peer, you know, somebody else that is in the hobby because, I mean, you look around and it seems like the hobby's growing, but it's still not like we can just find them around every street corner, you know, you, it's just kind of nice to run up there and be able to have a smoke with somebody so i will put a link to jay's channel which is haven hill piper and i will put a link to hearth cigars and pipes i always want to say it the other way it's not it's hearth cigars and pipes <laughs> i'll put both of those in the description in case you're curious so uh until we get a chance to talk again remember life is short stop and smell the smoke <laughs>